what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel today today we're gonna talk about the giveaway crx i don't remember the last time i touched this car i know i mentioned that we had a few stuff that were on the way they did show up a little while ago but i've just been busy with the new crx here on the driveway it was pouring rain all morning and uh, it was also hailing but we finally caught a break as you guys can see all the clouds and everything is headed that way we do have this little patch of clear sky so hopefully hopefully we can make a nice decent video without the video quality getting all jacked up because of the darkness the gopro i noticed that um the volume has been more on more on the right side so let me know in the comments below if you guys are hearing only one side of the audio my gopro has been taking a lot of damage over the months of using and abusing it so um feedback would definitely be nice to let me know if i need to change camera or get a new one laundry is running in the background right now so hopefully it's not too loud over my talking guys but i kind of want to touch topics on the giveaway car guys and what is all going on with it so i think the last thing we left off with this car was fabricating most of the turbo kit so let me show you guys really quickly under the hood i believe it was the last thing we did hood goes all the way up stays up without a hood prop that's freaking awesome and i don't know why it's doing that but it's cool last i remembered we did the downpipe for the turbo and uh we left off without making the dump tube because we didn't have any material for the wastegate and uh we made the intercooler as well i fabricated this this is my first time making an intercooler and using an ebay core with my own custom end tanks and uh we also made the charge pipe for the intake side the cold side of the turbo kit which is this sucker right here oh that's right the last thing I needed was a blow off valve and quickly I want to give a big shout out to Max Petey and Rob Macy because when I got the coilover for the all wheel drive CRX, she also sent me a blow off valve right here. I'm not 100% certain what color theme I'm going to go as far as under the hood goes, but I do have a silver blow off valve right here guys and I also already have a black one chilling up here for the all-wheel drive crx now the all-wheel drive crx it doesn't matter what color i put in that car but for the giveaway car i'm uncertain if i want to go with a black blow valve or a silver now off camera i did do a few things when we uh did leo's windshield kind of learned about how epoxy and uh window primer and stuff goes so i went ahead and sanded down most of the pore 15 that i stuck underneath the um window jam here and i pretty much scuffed it all up to put epoxy primer down on literally the areas that i grounded down to bare metal so this entire section all the way across has been epoxy primer should be ready to accept the new primer and adhere the window glue for when this car gets a new windshield now i didn't touch anything down here because i didn't um i didn't really scrape off the old glue i just flattened it out as much as i could so i left that kind of um originally how the windshield came off didn't touch that left it alone the other thing that i did was i bought a new fender for the car because the original fender that was on here is the original fender to the entire car now the car got into a car accident instead of replacing the fender and the bumper the body shop kept the original like damaged pieces and globbed a bunch of bondo on it so that fender only matched with the bumper because they were they were body work together to make it look good and i didn't know all of that when i painted the car so when i went to go stick the new bumper on the car which is this black one right here shout out tony this bumper did not line up with the original fender at all because the original bumper was actually missing a section and then the original fender had bondo coming up all the way to that section and uh, compensated for that gap now when i stuck the new one on it obviously didn't line up so i have the old fender chilling right there guys and i picked up another one another white one and uh, this right here is going to go through body work and paint when i get down with this car because i am repainting this car the original white and uh it's about the same color as this so i'm gonna paint that when i do this car i did mention that i needed all the fittings and stuff for the turbo like the feed line and the turbo fittings the block fittings shout out to bnr fittings for sending all of this out so we finally have everything to plumb the turbo in that car so we can turn it on for the first time 
before we tear everything back out of the car so that was a brief update on the giveaway crx guys there's going to be a ton more to come i i want to jump back on this car because i've been slacking on it i'm not going to lie to you guys and uh in today's video i actually want to talk about uh some new partnership that we just we just got and the products just showed up a couple of days ago and i'm excited to share it with you guys excited to show you guys what we got in the mail and uh without further ado let's get to it It's crazy to say, I, I watch a lot of big YouTube channels like, um, I watch Motion Auto TV a lot uh, before he became big and uh, Trevor has been doing a great job with his channel and has blown up. Um, I watch channels like B is for Build. Now I watched B is for Build with Plan A and Plan B before he also blew big. And uh, those guys have one thing in common. They run Koenig Wheels. Now Koenig Wheels, if you guys don't know, is a really big company quality rims and uh i i've ran koenig back in the days and stuff like that and i never really bought them brand new because back in the days i was i was a broke joke but i did acquire a few um koenig wheels back in the days for some of the builds you guys probably don't see on the channel but um koenig wheels i, I see it on big channels a lot and a lot of times like Chris, uh, Chris from Beach for Build, he always talks about, you know, we're gonna talk to our sponsor, get some custom spec wheels and stuff like that, especially for his current GTR build. Um, I always thought Koenig sponsored big channels, um, big following, big, you know, influencers and things like that. But one day I was on Instagram, I was just scrolling through it and I went through my request messages. Sorry for the thousand plus people that are in there that I haven't responded to, but the one message that really caught my eyes was the Koenig symbol and i clicked on it read it and realized that this was the actual koenig instagram that reached out to me they love the channel they love the videos and that they wanted to help with some of the builds so i was like hold on a second this is the real koenig they replied back and they were like yo let's 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 transfer this over to via email and we can go from there so after chatting back and forth back and forth with koenig wheel guys it was still kind of you know hard to believe that I'm speaking to Koenig Wheel USA themselves and uh, after filling out a few forms and papers and signatures and all that great stuff guys, we got a new sponsor for the channel. I want to proudly introduce Koenig Wheels for coming on board with the channel. Thank you guys for viewing the content. Thank you guys for enjoying it. Thank you guys for allowing me to come on board with you guys. And uh, they were kindly enough to send me a set of wheels for the giveaway CRX. The wheels was like one of the last things I uh, wanted to 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 throw on the car because I don't necessarily need it right now, but I definitely want this car to be like tied up with a really nice set of wheels and a nice set of rubbers to go with the wheels. And because Koenig reached out to me, I was like, "Yo, this is this this is great. This is definitely going to come in clutch for the build, and um, you know it'll stop my search on the wheels choice for the car and let my let myself focus more on the car itself." So. I, I've been actually eyeballing these wheels for the longest time. If you guys don't know my homie Marcus, he has the yellow EK9 and he actually has these same wheels on his car. And every time he would show up or I would see at a show, I'm always like, yo, th those wheels are pretty fire. And uh, these are actually the same wheels that Motion Auto TV Trevor has on his all wheel drive yellow EK uh, coupe. And after a long time of bickering around and not committing to wanting to spend the money for these wheels because money is kind of tight and money can go to a lot more things than wheels as of right now so big shout out to Koenig for um, fulfilling this this wheel segment to the build they sent over a set of Koenig decagrams in 15 by 8 matte black I believe these are the plus 25 and with this offset these wheels should fit really nicely on the car itself we should be able to fit a good amount of meat under the fender well with the specs of these wheels guys um but i enough with the talking guys i know you're probably as excited as i am so i'm gonna go ahead and just unbox one of these wheels and i'm gonna stick it on the front
Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I, I am a sucker for black rims. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. I love the way this wheel is designed. I love the spokes. I love the dish. I love the step lip. The fact that they have the flow form. These are flow form rims. Uh, Koenig has so many different, um, like, uh, built wheels on their websites and uh, these are the flow form decagrams. I love the way this thing looks so much that Sorry, Marcus. I had to bite your car, man These are freaking amazing. Oh my goodness. There's a little package right here. Um, it says Peel logo backing off before applying to cap. So this right here guys is the center cap for um, The wheel itself. So we got some screws right here what are, so we have some screws right here. What is this for? Oh, wow. Screw on center caps. I got to see this. So this is pretty cool. I've never seen it before. They, they made sure that nobody can take this off of your wheels in a split second. If you guys know, Honda and Acura center caps are like the most common thing to get popped off um, from, from Honda cars, especially the HXs. Back in the days, we'd had a set and they were gone when we were at the store. We'd come back out and nowhere to be found. That's why I don't really run center caps on any of my car guys other than the, the SI CRX wheels but those those are very common to get jacked too so those wheels are not going to be on the car for long because of that reason but Koenig really went above and beyond to get their center cap to be screwed down with three screws with allen keys and to even provide the tool that's freaking awesome and obviously the sticker for the center as well too this all comes separately so you can perfect it when you put it on your car so big shout out to Koenig for taking the extra steps to do all these little detailed stuff yes yes let's get it mounted on the car real quick Got some bunk two lug nuts um i don't have lug nuts for this car what's your guys's favorite lug nut i would definitely want something really nice something that's not aluminum It is starting to get cold again. It just started raining. We lost the clarity in the freaking sky, guys, and I can't feel my hands. So I just took a bunch of photos, did a little post on Instagram, giving a big shout out to Koenig USA for having me on board. I truly, truly appreciate it. Truly blessed to be um, given this opportunity to come on board with you guys. And uh, I got the wheels all packed back up already. I'm gonna toss this in the garage. I'm gonna figure out a tire and lug nut combo so we can pull these out again to get that all situated and get them all ready to go onto the car when the time comes. Koenig USA, you guys don't know how much this means to me. I definitely want to get a set for the KRX and have some dedicated track tires for that car. And uh, as much as I love my slipstreams, the Decagram really, really caught my eyes. And uh, I think I may have a new favorite wheel. But Koenig USA, thank you guys. Check the link in the description below if you guys are interested in some decagrams or even the hypergrams. I like the hypergram as well too. Go in the link in the description below. Check out some wheels that they have. Cop yourself some Koenig USA wheels. I'm not sure if we're gonna have a coupon code for you guys, but I'm definitely gonna work on it and see if we can try to get you guys a percentage off if you guys are interested in Koenig wheels for your cars. I am gonna throw everything back in the garage and we're not really doing too much uh, the rest of our night here, but I am gonna take care of this clutch pedal assembly before we close up. If you guys haven't seen the last video, Herb broke the pedal assembly in his wagon and I have his pedal right here that I want to repair So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend this back in get that right there all welded up Reinforcing the back side. I'm gonna show you guys the plate that I'm gonna put right here to keep this from You know bending out next time when this pedal gets used again Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here the CRX is pushed up pretty far so I don't really have a a walk space i uh pretty much just prepped it all up right now so this thing is pretty pretty cracked uh you you can see right here i took the clutch pedal off and you can see there's a really nice crack that goes all the way down here on the edge right 
Mm, okay, yeah, that's one of them. And then over here, we have this uh, gnarly crack that has a split. So there's a T. I drilled out that hole and that hole to prevent the crack from going further. And then I tacked this one right here in place so it doesn't move. And then obviously cracked on the inside. So I kind of kind of hammered this down a little bit so that this stud could line up flush again so obviously somebody repaired it before a glob of weld right there but it is closed gap so i'm going to weld that as well and then i'm going to reinforce pretty much the back side right here uh there's another crack that is no no no. there's not another crack this is the same crack so yeah this thing is pretty much prepped to be welded and uh, i have this little plate i just cut out out of eighth inch um by one inch and uh, this is pretty much going to go right here actually this way it's going to go right here in between like that fits the contour right here so that's going to be welded back side's going to be welded all of this is going to be welded and that's going to prevent this whole assembly right here from coming out when you're stepping on the the, the clutch pedal so it should should help reinforce this whole assembly now disclaimer i don't know if this is going to clear if you have like the hush performance um hydro conversion i don't know where that bracket sits i know that my bracket sits in this general area and it comes straight off right here and bolts to this guy right there but the hush kit is more it's not complex there's just more mounting points so i don't know if that's going to be in the way but if you're not running the hush kit and you have a broken pedal assembly this one brace is going to help it a lot already so i'm going to whip out the welding machine actually i already have it right there and let's get to welding I don't know well i don't know how well you guys can see this but right there there's a washer that i cut two ends off to make it fit into that crevice and uh, it is grounded out so that we can uh, weld it to that stud that the uh, clutch pedal sits on and uh, what that washer is going to do is going to allow me to weld on to other parts of the bracket uh, on the pedal assembly so that way we can have more uh, bite more support to make sure that it doesn't fold later now this is not really necessary but if that stud is broken and the frame is cracked this washer is going to help reinforce it so i'm going to go ahead and just weld that up and uh grind this section right here flat because it sits on the firewall flat and this pedal assembly is uh should be ready to rock and roll again soon i really cannot feel my hands so pedal assembly all reinforced and primed up or rust, rusted primer whatever can i bought the other day so it is all reinforced inside outside back side front side underneath on top this pedal should be ready to use again for whoever breaks theirs take 1000 so this is going to be the end of the video guys I want to give a big shout out to Koenig Wheels USA once again. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you for sponsoring the channel. Thank you for hooking it up with a set of decagrams for the giveaway CRX. Hopefully whoever wins the car, you're going to love the wheels as well too. And if you guys want to check out some Koenig Wheels for your vehicle, be sure to hit the link in the description below. And they have a lot of sizes, a lot of different styles. So if you guys are interested for some Koenig Wheels on your car, hit that link in the description below. I already can't feel my hands. I can't feel my toes. I'm starting to not feel my face. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed today's content with the Koenig wheels for the giveaway CRX, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to stick around for uh, the continuation of literally everything we have going on here on the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So if you guys want to check out, what's up?